What's up guys, GG here and yes, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing great. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created the tone that I used for the cover that I put out recently on the channel. I know it's been a while. This was for Linkin Park Paper Cut. If you haven't checked out the video, go and check it out. It's going to be linked in the description box below. Also, you can easily find it in the channel. Uh, full disclaimer though, I played over the original track because I could not find a good backing track for the track. This is usually the case with most of the songs that I want to cover. But I hopefully kept the tone loud enough for you to understand that uh, my guitar tone was clear and you could hear it out in the cover. So make sure you check out the cover. This preset is going to make much more sense if you do that. Without any further ado, let's jump into the Axe FX and Axe Edit and let's see how I dialed it in. Let's do this. All right, so I've got Axe Edit open in front of me like always. And if you are a follower of the channel, you know how like we like to do things over here. I'll start from a blank preset with nothing in there and we'll build everything from scratch. And along the way, hopefully I give you some tips which can help your tone dialing experience a little better. So make sure you stick till the end and give this video a like if you haven't already. <laughs> um, so what's the first thing you wanna do? First thing you wanna do is add an amp, right? Oh, before you do that, I must tell you, I am playing my PRS SE Mark Holcomb signature series guitar. Lots of specs about this, which I won't go into the details of, uh, except that everything is 100% stock. The volume's on full, the tone's on full. I am on the bridge pickup and I'm playing on drop C sharp tuning. So that's pretty much what Linkin Park plays on. Now, the amp is a crucial part of the tone and so is the cab. But when it comes to dialing in the amp, you want to know what amp did the artist actually use. Now, there, there is a lot of research you can do. Obviously, some, some uh, you know, players have their own signature series amps like Joe Satriani, you would pretty much know it's a Marshall straight away. But for some players, you might have to Google a bit and find out what kind of gear they were using and the gear keeps changing over time as well, right? A good site to reference that I always go to is equipboard.com, which is a, you know one of my go-to sites to check any sort of gear that any artist is using or has been using and sometimes you will find even verified answers about what gear they've been using if you go to equip board and search for brad delson that is the guitar player of lincoln park you would find out a bunch of amps that he's been using and on not just amp you can also find out guitars effect pedals and stuff like that there's a lot of information in here a very good site i would highly recommend you to go and search for this uh, whenever you have free time to study and understand some of the gear that some of your favorite artists have been using. Now, if you scroll to the amplifiers, you will see that he's been using an Engel Fireball amp as well, Bogner uh, Mesa Boogie Duo Rectifier. This is probably the most popular amp that he's been using, I believe. And uh, even Cooper Carter did a video on this tone, I think sometime back, uh, using this amp, I believe. But I actually stuck with this one, the Engel Fireball probably because of two reasons. It's an amp which I've never tried before and it seems more, uh, you know, probable to be a new challenge for me to dial in and I wanted to really try it out and see that how it, you know, sounds like when it comes to the Linkin Park tone. So that's the amp I want to use in the preset. So let's go ahead and select that. Now the Axe FX2 has a lot of amps for you to choose from. Uh, obviously you want to know which amp is the right one. Uh, you can find that from Yex Guide. It's the Energy Ball amp. I'm just going to search it over here or you can go to E and find it out. It's called Energy Ball in the Axe FX2. And basically this is what the settings come up with. It's everything set to stock. I'm not going to touch anything. Next thing you want to do is obviously add the cab in there. Now, the cab is also, I feel, an integral part of the tone. If you don't have the right cab, your sound might be completely different or completely off. Now, there's no right or wrong when it comes to choosing cabs, and I did a whole video on this if you want to check it out in the channel as to how I decide to choose my cabs. Usually, I refer to EX Guide to select a cab. So, when, you, when I read the EX Guide for this particular amp, I believe the point was towards that V30s usually work really well with this sort of a cab amp so i'm going to be sticking towards v30 cabinets i love them uh, my favorites have been the mesa boogie uh, standard v30 cabinets that i've been using for a long long time which are these two over here but i did not use these two over here i used something different over here we're going to use a german v30 cab over here which is going to be f047 
it is this is German V30 over here. I believe this is the red wires uh, IR capture, so I'm gonna use that. Now I've got the amp and cab sorted out. Uh, I've not changed anything in the preset yet. So let's go ahead and hear how the preset is sounding now at stock settings. <laughs> Right off the bat, you can hear that this amp sounds really decent, even at the stock settings. But obviously, we're gonna tweak a lot of things to make it sound a little bit more better. I think it sounds a little boomy at the moment, so let's go ahead and tweak the amp to suit our needs. Uh, I think input drive-wise, I added a bit of more drive, around 6.1. Uh, bass, it's, as I said, it's sounding a little too boomy, so I'm gonna cut it out a little bit, bring it down to 2.5. Uh, mids, I like the preset a little thick right now because the tone is not too ice picky in my opinion it's a little it has a little bit of meat in it and that's the kind of tone that really works well for this track so i'm going to keep it at five um for the treble i'm going to push it up to around eight we definitely need some of that uh you know upper top end in this preset so what i'm going to do is set the treble to eight and then the presence i'm going to set it up to around six what I liked about this amp is that the knobs are really, really uh, good and responsive, um, if that's a good word to use here, because most of the amps I've seen that when you change the travel, unless you change it a lot, you don't hear much of a difference or with the other knobs as well. But with this amp, I feel the presence, for example, is really good and responsive. If I push it up to eight, I can really hear the uh, you know preset brightening up and opening up and becoming more icy. It's really good to have that. For the master volume, it comes default at four. You wanna find that sweet spot, just like with any other amp. The higher you go, the more beefy and the more uh, muddy your tone is gonna get. The more lower you go, the more brittle and more icy your tone is gonna get. So I think you have to find that sweet spot for you, what works for you. I think for me around 6.5 worked really well. So I'm gonna keep it at that and uh, I'm gonna compensate by adjusting the level a bit as well. So I'm gonna adjust it to around 7.6. Now with that done, also what I did in the cab is I opened up the cab a little bit more, um, added some low cut for cutting off some of that low end and I opened up the high cut to around 14,800 hertz. So this is how it sounds now. sounds really sweet uh, let's tame a little bit of more of the top end at the low end what I like to do is add in a boost over here what that's gonna do a drive block what that's gonna do is not just give you a little bit more drive push the amp a little bit more but also tame that low end as well so I'm gonna add a T808 uh, overdrive pedal bring the drive down to zero I don't think we need that much drive bring the tone up to around 7.8 or something and leave everything else at default so this is how it sounds with that <laughs> sounds really cool and sweet uh, the other thing I did is since the song has a lot of stops in between you want to have a gate in place so that your guitar cuts out at the right point and you don't get that extra nice noise and extra nice you know uh, buzz when you you know play with such and stops so what I like to do is always follow Miko's trick of adding the uh, gate in between the amp and the cab Miko Lauren I hope I got that name right he's got a full video on it go check out his channel excellent excellent video as to how to use the gate block so what I'm doing is adding a gate or expander in between the amp and the cab what that does is kind of gives you a gate as to how you want to use it you want to bring the attack down and bring the hold down as well release you want to bring it down you don't want it to you know hold it for that long um, and then threshold you got to adjust based on your gear as to what settings work best for me minus 57 uh, kind of works well now what that will do is you don't want to kill your sustain if you set it too low then your sustain is going to go away if you set it too high you will obviously you know just 
kind of dissolve the effect of using a gate in the first place. So minus 57 works good for me. This is how it sounds. <laughs> Great sounding tone, I love it. I've been using it a lot as a regular preset to practice and jam as well. I love the tone, so really good amp as well. The last thing I did is added an enhanced block, an answer in between after the cab. Uh, this is just to give your preset a bit of width and it sits well in the mix as well. High cut, you want to push it all the way up. Low cut is fine at 100. I think I pushed it to 150 or something like that. And width and depth, I didn't touch it at all. You can touch it based on your taste and how you want it to sound. So this is how the preset sounds now. <laughs> Really good sounding amp, it's got that uh, crystal clear, you know, distortion and it's pretty smooth, pretty fat, at the same time it's pretty wide. Um, really good sounding preset, I love it a lot. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Believe it or not, that's the preset I use for the playthrough. It's pretty simple, just an amp and a cab and a drive block. Sometimes it's that simple. Sometimes we don't need to have those many EQs and compressors and stuff like that in there. Sometimes the amp is so good enough in itself that it gives you the kind of tone you want straight away out of the bat. So not very complicated to dial in. I hope you guys enjoy this preset. Dial it along with me and tell me in the comments how it sounds on your gear. And if you're not like, you know, subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Make sure you give this video a like. And until I see you guys in the next one, make sure you guys stay safe, guys. Keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.